hi and welcome back to my channel so today i am doing the biggest ever clothing haul that has ever hit my channel and honestly when i say that statement i am not exaggerating i've never seen so many clothes in my entire life and yeah i've never done a haul this big ever just to give you a little brief overview of why i'm doing such a big haul today you probably would have seen if you do follow me on instagram that i very kindly got invited to the london pretty little thing showroom last tuesday well tuesday just gone and yeah i kindly got invited to go down and meet the girls and pick out some clothes from like the new collection and stuff and Obviously you guys know that I'm going to New York next week so it couldn't have fell at a better time because I've got kitted out for New York and I've got some amazing new clothes. Pretty Little Thing has been one of my favourite online retailers for many years now. Ever since they first established, I was there, honestly. Like, I've always been a massive fan of their website. I've spent a hell of a lot of money on the website so to be actually working with them getting to send all these free clothes i can't even tell you how grateful and overwhelming it is like i still have to pinch myself because it's just a dream i guess it would be any girl's dream to receive free clothes from one of their favorite brands but honestly i really do mean it so thank you so much pretty little thing first of all for inviting me down to the showroom and getting to pick all this amazing stuff out because i do really really appreciate it but yeah cutting out all the ramble because i've probably rambled for a little bit too long already i'm gonna get straight on to this video and show you the bit that I picked up because it really is going to be a long video. Okay, so first up, I can't even pick the bag up. Ugh. Oh my god, it's so heavy. So I actually got two of these massive bags when I went down to the showroom. I usually put everything in one, but then I said to the girl, oh my god, that is going to break. We're going to have to split it up in two. And she was like, yeah, definitely. So we split it up in two, and honestly, as soon as I walked out of the showroom, walking down the street on Carnaby Street, bang, it breaks. My stuff was like hanging out the bag. I was like, oh my God, what do I do? Like, I'm in London. I've got to go somewhere after this and get on the tube and stuff. There's just going to be no chance that I'm getting on the tube because I had my bag, another bag with my laptop in and these two big pretty little thing bags. It was a nightmare. So I took cover in a Starbucks shop, sat there for as long as possible until I had to move, then just got taxis for the rest of the evening because there was no way I was getting back on the tube with all of this stuff. So the first thing I'm going to show you is coat slash jacket. So the first one is actually from their newest collection on the website and it is this gorgeous baby blue bomber jacket oh my god I'm absolutely obsessed with this when I seen all their new collection on the website I was so in love I just loved the pinks the pale blues I just thought it was a really nice color scheme and slowly bringing us into spring I feel this little jacket is just so so cute I think it's really really nice adds a bit of pop of color into my wardrobe it's in a really really nice quality as well feels really warm um, and yeah this is just called the baby blue cropped puffer jacket I got it in a 10 just so it's like a little oversized I always like my jackets just a little bit bigger I never normally get my own sizing coats and stuff just because I normally like layer underneath them and stuff but yeah, I absolutely love this one. I think it's going to look so, so cute. So the next thing I got was another sort of puffer jacket. And this time it was this gorgeous mustard, like faux suede one. Again, this is just so cute. I feel like I'm really getting more adventurous with like my jackets. You've seen the pink one in like my previous video. And yeah, like I feel like I'm really am getting more experimental with colours. I really actually am enjoying it. So yeah, I just thought this one would just look absolutely amazing in New York, like teamed with some vans and um, some like fairly ever trousers or something. Just think this would be really, really cute. I love as well that it's got like Papa buttons, silver papa buttons all the way down. I think that's really, really nice. And yeah, I just really like the colour as well, to be honest with you. So yeah, that's the next jacket I got. The next coat I got was immediately another puffer jacket. Um, again, this was in a size 10. And this time we've got this gorgeous silver metallic one. I just feel like this is so typical New York. Like, I don't know, when I look at this, I just think I can imagine myself wearing this in New York. Um, like, you know, with a hat on and like, scarf and gloves so this is what it looks like again it's just a really nice puffer jacket it's got some pocket zip details there and then also at the bottom of the jacket it's actually got like these toggles that you just pull and it makes it tighter and i don't know what's gone on there i think that one's fell out so i'm gonna have to re-thread that but yeah i really really love this one i just it's something about this one that i really like and i feel like it's really like cold weather appropriate so that's the next jacket that I got. The next coat I got from Pretty Little Thing was this gorgeous khaki aviator jacket. Now, I love aviator jackets. I always think they're so on trend, stylish, just look 
just really give that fashionable edge to outfits. I don't actually own a khaki one, and like I mean, the girl was like talking about what to wear, and so she was like, "This one will look stunning," and I was like, "Yeah, do you know what? That really will." Um, I just absolutely love like the great faux fur um, interior inside the jacket. Just think that's really really nice. And um, yeah, just a little bit of, again, different colour, but I think styled up, this will look so, so stunning. Really, really good quality. And this was in a size small, I believe. So yeah, that's the second jacket that I got. Okay, so the last jacket that I'm gonna show you is again, one from the new collection. And when I seen this on the website styled up, I absolutely loved it. And again, colour isn't normally something that I really adventure into, but, there was something about this jacket that I loved and when I tried it on and put it on my Instagram everybody loved it and I loved it as well and it is this gorgeous PU pink biker jacket so I know this looks a bit crazy believe me and even off the hanger I was like oh well like it looks stunning on but I could never pull that off but when I tried it on just with a simple plain black outfit I couldn't believe how much I absolutely loved this jacket um, admittedly it's got that sort of like you know that PU sound um but yeah it also comes with the belt like the biker belt at the bottom which is just fell off um i will try this on obviously so you can see how it looks better for yourself but i really really was surprised by this and even the girl in the showroom when we was like picking out like some of the bits even she said i didn't like that on the hanger but on you it looks amazing and it's made me change my mind so yeah really really love this and really glad that i did try and get that because i know that i'll be selling this up just for drinks out and yeah just when I want that pop of colour into my outfit so love that okay so the first pair of shoes I got were these absolutely gorgeous black open toe lace up shoes with sort of like this mesh see through bit here absolutely love these you know I love heels and I just feel like these are a really good transition as we do get into spring I know it's only January but believe me we will soon be in like March, April before you know it and rocking open toes a little bit more. Yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with these. I think these are so, so nice. So I liked them that much that I also got them in the beige. So this is what the beige ones look like. Again, really, really stunning. Faux suede, like everywhere. Obviously got this clear like meshy sort of thing here and an open toe and lace up. Just think these are so, so like pretty. Like, I always think if you've got good shoes on with an outfit, then you're like ready. So love those as well. So the last pair of shoes I got, you're gonna love or hate these. And honestly, they are still growing on me. They're not ever normally a shoe that I would pick up. It's just not really me. But the vision that I have, and like when we and the girl in the pretty little thing showroom was talking about these, I can see the vision and I think these styled the right way will look amazing and insane, but they are a little bit brave. So these are the boots. So they're these like red, PU um, pointy boots um, with a heel, lace up on the front. So I know that they are very out there, not going to be probably everybody's cup of tea, but honestly, I think these styled the right way will look absolutely insane. And I think they are actually running low stock on the website as well. So yeah, you know that everybody is after a shoe when it's running low in stock. But yeah, my vision for these is going to be like with a black dress that I have actually got in here that I will show you. Um, and I think styled with that, these will look amazing because the dress isn't too much. So I think this will give it that pop of colour where it like stands out and it's be like, oh my god, that looks amazing. So yeah, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I think styled up, these are going to look absolutely insane. Okay, so the next thing I got was a pair of these like cargo pants. I don't know if all of this stuff is going to fit me because in the showroom they had like a mixture of six, eights and tens. Um, and yeah, like I couldn't find everything that I wanted in my size. Like a few things I did have to leave because I just didn't have my size, which I was really good about. But anyway, I'm going to try and see if these work. They're a size eight. Good pretty little thing sizes, by the way. I always sort of, I don't know, like... I always do size up, so like normally I'm a 6, so I do size up to an 8, sometimes I get 6s, it just really depends, so I would say as a general rule, pretty little thing sizes probably come up a little bit small, um, but yeah, just, just try it out and see, you can always exchange for a different size. The next thing I got was these gorgeous, gorgeous cargo trousers in black, so yeah, they just simply look like this. They've got a side pocket on. They do look quite big, so I don't know how these are going to fit. And then they're just like ruched at the bottom. So they're like really like slouchy. They come quite high waisted as well. Again, I will show you what these look like on. But I just thought these would look really, really nice styled up. So I got a pair of them. The next thing I got was a pair of denim jeans. Again, these are from Pretty Little Things newest collection on their website. And they're these absolutely gorgeous acid wash distressed jeans. 
they've turned them up slightly at the end but I don't think they're stitched no they've just been turned up I absolutely adore these I don't have a wash in my wardrobe of this color jeans so again I feel like with the lighter wash it's like transitioning my wardrobe slowly into spring I just really like these I think they look really nice styled up for like an evening of drinks with heels and a nice top or again you could simply wear these for everyday casual and um, these are just called the Kendall bleach wash open five bleach mum jeans so they're a mum jean style as well i'm not normally into mum jeans mum jeans just because if you know mum jeans are slightly like an oversized fit they're not skinny leg they are that little bit of a baggy fit i feel like if you get the fit right of a mum jean they can look amazing but yeah i'm always a bit like mm, how they're gonna fit i'll try them on let's see how they work but i did absolutely love them on the website so on the website they were actually styled up with this top which i thought looked so so nice together um again i really do feel like this top is like giving me like spring vibes and um, with the pastel tones so it's got like baby blue pink white it's a really nice long sleeve top got this in a size 10 so it's going to be slightly like slouched and oversized but I think it would look stunning um, yeah I really really like that top it's really nice quality as well it feels so soft the thing I got was again another thing from Pretty Little Things newest range and it was this doll t-shirt this was in a size 10 they didn't have an 8 but well no actually sorry it's not a 10 it's a medium so they didn't have a small but I adored it and when I actually first seen this range on the website this was one of the things that I really wanted to get I really am into my slogan tees and I just think this is so girly and very me so it's medium but it will be absolutely fine because I normally like tie them up put um, knots in put little elastics in so yeah we'll make that work so I really really like that t-shirt so the next thing I got was a two-piece now I was thinking this would look so stunning for New York I'm so happy to get my hands on this because it's actually I think it's sold out on the website don't quote me but I'm pretty sure it is um so it's called the gold glitter knit ruched front crop top so you get a gorgeous little crop top like this it's in this sort of like gold knitted fabric which is so cute so it's like a little bardo off the shoulder long sleeve top and then to go with it you've got these matching sort of wide leg trousers they've got like built-in pants probably need another pair of knickers on and um, because obviously they are like sheer see-through these are in an eight so i'm hoping they're gonna fit um but yeah i just thought this set would look so so stunning for new york because i don't really think i'll be wearing dresses in new york just because of the time of year and how cold it is so i'll probably be wearing this with like a big coat shoved on top but yeah i thought this was so nice and like i said i don't think it's available on the website at the moment they may be getting more stock i don't know so maybe just keep checking back if you do want to get your hands on this so that's that obsessed with that okay so the next thing i'm going to show you is what i was actually telling you that i was going to team with the red boots so it's basically this long line black dress so it's like a t-shirt dress at the top half it's got these red stripes on here then the red stripes run all the way through the dress right until the floor and it's then just got this cut out detail here i'll try it on so you get a better image and you can see what it looks like for yourself but i think then red boots will look amazing underneath this oh and i forgot to actually tell you that it also splits at the side so as you can imagine then red boots like underneath this with my tanned legs and like this slit opening i think it will look really really hot so yeah i'll try it on and show you like i said but again not something i would normally go for but i'm really trying to like explore outside of my you know typical style and um, so yeah i feel like that's what fashion's all about like mixing things up and trying new things and yeah so i really really like that okay so the next thing i got was a pair of wide leg trousers so these are actually from the petite range so if you are short like me i always find that getting wide leg trousers and jumpsuits are always better from the petite range so yeah just simply a pair these actually look quite big for a six actually they don't the length looks quite short but i don't know we'll try them on um so like i said i got these in a size six and just these plain black wide leg trousers but they've just got these statement gold like military buttons on the front so like this teamed with like a nice blouse or something tucked in will look really really cute okay so the next trousers i got is a pair of green leg suit trousers so these actually have a matching blazer i believe to go with them but i really wanted a different color pair of like trousers in my wardrobe and i just thought these green ones were a little bit different and i just really liked how they looked on the website i think the blaze would actually look amazing with it so i may get my hands on that at a later date but for now i got this 
then I really thought that this body would look nice teamed with this. So yeah, I really feel like these would be perfect for a night out, teamed with like a body or like a shirt. I'll show you a couple of things I think would go nicely with these. So that's those. So the next thing I got was a lace body. Now, I really like bodies. I think bodies are always really good to have in your wardrobe if you like to go out for drinks and food, but don't want to look overdressed but want to look a bit dressed up, you know? So a body always looks great with like denim jeans, a black, a black pair of trousers, and even like I said, this green trousers, they would look so nice together. So it's simply this black lace body, it's got a V neck, I'm trying to show you because I know it's not the easiest thing to show on camera, and then basically it's got this gorgeous um, tie up detail on the side, which obviously isn't tied up at the moment, so Again, I'll show you this better on. Um, it's a fun body as well, so no VPL. Um, yeah, I really love this body. It will look cute on. I feel like another option to go with them green trousers would be this shirt. So let me try and show you this. I can't even remember how this looks. Um, so this is called a cream satin twist front shirt. So it's basically in a satin fabric. It's got quite a big plunge neck. It's long sleeve quite like floaty and oversized but like this tucked in with them green trousers would look amazing Um, even just like a black pair of like faux leather trousers would look really nice for like an evening drinks Um, I got this in a size 6 as per usual and again really really like this the last item of clothing that I got is this black tiered poplin smock dress I got it in a size 6 it does look really really big but I think it's like the sort of shape and style of these dresses I'm gonna do a try on clip so you can see exactly what it looks like and how it fits but as I have been saying I just feel like I don't want to get any more jumpers or any more like real winter things for my wardrobe I know I've got New York so I picked up a few coats but I feel like they'll be perfect for spring um but I do want to start getting like more dresses because even like dresses you can team with longer boots if it's a little bit chillier but then as it gets to spring you can start rocking more of like the ankle boots and heels with them so I just really like this I just love like little black dresses and just feel like this is a really nice addition I just love obviously just like the texture and the style of it towards the bottom quite a floaty one would look really nice with like one of them jackets okay so the last few bits i got to show you is gym wear because i don't know if you know but pretty little thing have just recently launched a brand new active wear so so nice if you are back on the gym and wanting some nice active wear so the first piece of their active wear i got were these gorgeous just black simple like leggings so these are just called the black strap detail sports leggings they've just got these strap detail at the top so they're just like cut out details so they're just really simple and plain but like I said, got this really nice detail in the top, which gives it more of like a sexy sportwear vibe. Um, so to go with that, they do actually have a top, I believe, but it wasn't there. So you can really check anything with them. With them being black, anything's going to go. So I got this gorgeous pink crop top. It's like a neon pink with obviously a zip going through. Really, really like that. I think that will look so cute together. I also got this pair of sports leggings. These are really funky. Again, I just love all the bright colours in this collection. So it's got like a really light, nice cobalt blue band at the top. Then we've got this green running through and again, some more blue at the bottoms. Again, these are really nice quality, you know, guys. They're not see-through at all. To go with that, I think this top is the actual one that goes with it. It's inside that, so let me try and show you. Just simply, again, this really cute sports bra, which just says PLT Sport in the green. And then we've got the cobalt blue running again through the bottom. Bottom. Yeah, the last top I got is this one. I'm going to include a try on clip because it's all twisted at the moment, but I do know that it looks beautiful as I see it on the website. So, yeah, going to include a clip for this one so you can see that better. That brings us to the end of the haul video. I know it's been a long one. I'm honestly so overwhelmed right now just sitting here looking at all the clothes that I got. Honestly, I'm so, so blessed. By the way, just wanted to mention that a few of them pieces I actually got sent separately in a parcel. There's about four or five items um, that I got sent directly from the website and I didn't get from the showroom, just so you know. Um, because, yeah, what I had was enough to carry as it was. So then five extra pieces I definitely wouldn't have been able to carry around London. But thank you so much, Pretty Little Thing, for kindly gifting me all of these bits. I cannot wait to style them up and show you guys. So excited and also keep your eyes peeled because I'll be wearing a lot of this stuff in New York next week. So hopefully I'm gonna get some amazing pictures on like rooftop bars and stuff. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I really, really hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. I will leave all the links to everything that I've mentioned in the description bar below. Remember to hit 
the subscribe button. Also, check out my Instagram and follow me over there if you aren't already. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!